From the News Channel 5 Network, I'm Rory Johnston with your updated headlines. A Thursday night shooting on the interstate turns out to be an extreme case of road rage. Police report a 28-year-old Laverne resident was shot on I-24 East about 515. He had been merging from I-440 when another driver tried to cut in front of him, then flipped him off and began shooting. He described the driver as a black woman in her 20s. She was in a four-door Audi. She fired five shots and hit the driver in his torso and his left leg. He is expected to recover. The shooter has not been found. Since losing re-election last month, former Kentucky Governor Matt Bevin made two, uh, 428 pardons. He left office just three days ago, but now state lawmakers are bringing some of those pardons into question. They're asking the Attorney General-elect Daniel Cameron to appoint a special prosecutor or bipartisan special prosecuting team. One case of interest, the pardon of Patrick Baker, who was convicted of reckless homicide in 2017. NPR reports that Baker's family raised thousands of dollars for Bevin's 2015 campaign. In a letter to the Attorney General-elect, lawmakers said they believe some of the governor's pardons granted political favors to powerful friends and campaign donors. All right, it's time to tighten up. Nashville's football team dramatically expanding its headquarters. Titans expanding their practice facility and corporate office in a 60,000 square foot project. Construction began just this week. Ultimately, it will almost double the size of their Metro Center headquarters. Part of the three-story project includes a new draft room, a larger auditorium, bigger event space, and team rooms, and more accommodations for a staff that's grown by 50% in just a few years. They hope to complete the project within the next two years. All right, it's been a rainy Friday. Here's Bree with the latest. Yeah, dreary end of this work week. Thankfully, it's not going to remain this misty and wet as we head into the weekend, but we are going to keep clouds around. Clouds will set the stage for milder overnight temperatures, but it'll also keep things cooler in the afternoons. 42 overnight tonight, that light rain on and off showers persisting into the evening hours, and they'll linger into the start of your Saturday, but not the finish. So we'll keep a 30% rain chance in for Saturday. That's in the morning hours. We should be dry by lunchtime. Dry for the rest of Monday, dry for most of Sunday. Few raindrops sneak in late Sunday night ahead of a strong cold front Monday afternoon.